Hi friends. Everyone talks about investing in mutual funds. In today's video, I am going to tell you about the mutual funds which can help you save income tax. If you like the content, do subscribe the channel and like the video so it may reach to other people looking for similar information. You might have observed a rising trend of celebrities advising people to invest in mutual funds. But which mutual fund to choose, nobody tells that. In today's video, I will let you know about one type of mutual fund category that will not only give you more returns but will also help you save tax. There is a specific category of mutual fund which is called as ELSS or Equity Linked Saving Schemes. One can invest in ELSS mutual fund and can enjoy tax exemption under Section 80C of the Income Tax Act of 1961. By investing in ELSS fund, one can claim a maximum tax exemption of Rs. 1,50,000. Now before investing in ELSS funds, one should know few points which are very important. Number 1. ELSS has a lock-in period of 3 years. Number 2. ELSS is an equity-oriented mutual fund that is they invest in stocks, hence they carry high risk. Number 3. One can invest in ELSS via lump sum amount or via a monthly systematic investment plan. Now let's understand the advantages and disadvantages of ELSS funds. ELSS has the shortest lock-in period among all other tax-saving mutual funds. ELSS mutual fund investment is locked in for only three years whereas a tax-saving bank fixed deposit has a lock-in period of five years. Long-term capital gains in ELSS are taxed at 10% only above rupees 1 lakh. There is no cap on maximum investment in ELSS funds. ELSS fund is managed by experienced and qualified fund managers, eliminating the need to pay attention to minute-by-minute -minute price movements like in stocks. ELSS is comparatively risky when compared to other tax-saving mutual funds like PPF, NPS etc. Data suggests that ELSS has given good returns only when it is held for more than 5 years. This actually makes people remain invested for a long period virtually blocking the cash. There are different types of options available while investing in ELSS funds. Growth Option In case of growth option, investors don't get dividends, rather dividends are further reinvested in the fund. This enhances the NAV of the fund. Such funds usually have the capacity to generate long-term capital appreciation for investors. Dividend Option In this option, investors receive dividends, but after dividends are distributed, the NAV of the scheme gets readjusted. Dividend Reinvestment Option in this option, usually dividend is paid out to investors and investors have the option of reinvesting the dividend back to the fund for capital appreciation. Now let's see the top performing ELSS funds based on historic returns. At last, to put it simply, the returns from mutual funds are not guaranteed and historic returns should not be used as a benchmark to ascertain future returns. All mutual funds carry some element of risk within them. The higher the potential returns, the greater the risk associated with the mutual fund. Mutual funds are market-linked. This means that mutual funds are subject to market fluctuations. Your investment corpus can grow and decrease as the market moves upward or downward. This brings us to the end of the video. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and do subscribe to get a notification for upcoming videos. Goodbye and have a nice day.